Installing insulation is the most cost effective energy efficiency measure for homeowners to reduce their bills and discomfort from temperature extremes. Correctly installed, it will last the life of the house and require no further cost or maintenance. The Australian Government has also made energy efficient building compliance a higher priority for builders. For you as a tradesperson, it means that energy efficient testing techniques like thermal imaging and blower door testing are likely to become a normal part of building practices. This means the trades need to understand how their actions can damage the energy efficiency requirements on their jobs. As a tradesperson, if your work negatively impacts the thermal integrity of a building, it could mean a lot of unplanned and unpaid rework that could devastate your bottom line. This video resource has been produced to help inform as well as remind trades on how to make sure simple oversights don't negatively impact their business and the quality of their end product. Missing insulation and a few holes or gaps will drastically compromise the performance of the building envelope. A 10% gap could equal as much as a 50% drop in energy efficiency. With a lot of workers coming and going during a build, trades can easily alter building envelope integrity while carrying out their part of the job without even realising it. So let's take a look at what we need to keep in mind when working on a site to prevent this from happening. Often thermal and or sound insulation is installed before other trades are finished. This can be difficult to work around. So trades may move or take out insulation to improve access to do their work. Common examples of this are when lighting or wiring is installed after insulation has been installed, when wall insulation bats are pulled out, push back or move to get cabling, water, gas or telecom lines installed, or when bats are pushed out of the floor joists because insulation has been installed before the flooring has been laid. So it's important to keep in mind that all insulation must be reinstated when work is finished, making sure it's a snug fit. Refer to manufacturer's safety clearance requirements for installing downlights, transformers, fans and hot flues. Trades often need to cut holes in insulation or wall wraps to complete their assigned work. Common examples of this are when holes are cut in ceilings, walls or floors to install plumbing lines, ducts, vents, cabling or telecom lines, or when brick ties or services need to penetrate the wall wrap. So it's important to make sure, where possible, insulation is slit and service lines are chased in rather than large holes cut. Seal all wall, floor and ceiling penetrations with an expanding foam or sealant. Where holes or tears are made in the wall wrap, recreate a weather-tight seal by using UV-stable, non-shrink tape to seal the holes. The app also lists safety recommendations when refitting or cutting bats. By reminding each other of these important points that maintain the integrity of the building envelope, we can make sure that unpaid rework is kept to a minimum, Properties are built to meet compliance and property owners are assured of their building's energy efficiency. <laughs>